Archaeologists have discovered 119 more human skulls in the new sections of an Aztec tower, dating back to the 1400s in Mexico. The tower has been split into three construction phases, which are thought to date between 1486 and 1502. The skulls are arranged in a circle-like shape, looking inward and on top of one another. Experts say they don't know what was in the center, if anything, and that the severed heads may have been displayed in racks soon after death, and that when the flesh had rotted off, been replaced with mortar. In March, the team uncovered the facade and eastern part of the tower, which is roughly 15.4 feet in diameter, and were surprised to find the skulls of women and children and males raising questions about human sacrifice in the Aztec Empire. The Aztecs dominated large parts of central Mexico between 14th and 16th centuries until their empire was overthrown by invaders, led by the Spanish conquistador Hernan Cortes, who captured their capital, Tenochtitlan, in 1521. The tower is thought to be part of Uyithambuli, a collection of skulls that stood at the chapel of Huitzilopochtli, the patron of Tenochtitlan, and terrified the Spanish invaders. Archaeologists cannot say how many of these individuals were warriors. Perhaps some were captive to seen for sacrificial ceremonies. They added that they were all made sacred, turned into gifts for the gods or even personifications of deities themselves. The structure is now located in the area of Templo Mayor, one of the main temples of the Aztec capital Tenochtitlan in the historic district of modern-day Mexico City. Over 600 human skulls have now been found at the site, which Mexican authorities have called one of the country's most important archaeological discoveries in years. What are your thoughts about today's video? If you like the video, please hit the like button, and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button.